Hello, it's Steve Grizzetti again, co-founder of MoviePicks.com, and here we are in Part 7 of our 8-part Basic Training with Premiere Elements tutorial series. Here in Part 7, we want to look at how to add titles to your movie. And titles serve an important function, either to give credit, to give a title to your movie, or to uh, just add some additional information. Now, titles can be added in Quick View or Expert View. I do want to show you something here. Let's jump over to Quick View. Notice that when we're in Quick View, there is a dedicated track here on the timeline for titles. So let's add our title there. You have pretty much the same options available in Quick View and Expert View for titles. Notice that there are two categories of titles. Classic titles, and these are basic titles that we'll take a look at here in a moment. And they're motion titles. Motion titles are much more advanced. I demonstrate them here at moviepicks.com in a free tutorial. Uh, also, we go into greater detail on how to use them in the book. Let's stick with classic titles for now. I'm just going to select from the classic titles area general. Now, there are a lot of little categories of titles, but each category seems to have kind of the same basic titles, which is a default text title, which is kind of a still title, a default role, by the way, you notice when I hover, I get the play button and I can click on that and we can actually see an animation of a rolling title and a default crawl, which goes left to right. And sometimes as you go in here, there are titles that have backgrounds. We're just going to select our default title and I'm going to drag it from here onto the title track. Once it's been added, automatically the title adjustments workspace opens up. You can also reopen that in any time by double clicking on the title on your timeline. And here we can select the placeholder text. Just drag across it like that and I could say Los Angeles. I can switch over from the text mode tool over to the placement or the selection tool and I can position it wherever I'd like. I can change the text font and color just as you might expect, its size, I can just scrub across here, drag across here to change its size. And I can set its alignment, whether it is left, right, or center aligned. You notice that there are also a lot of text styles. And I can apply any of these styles to my text simply by selecting my text and clicking on the style. There's also animation, and these are preset animations. For adding your titles, they can appear as either uh, individual letters coming in one at a time or it might be stretched or twisted. Really nice selection of animations available here. There are also shapes. You can draw additional shapes. So if you want to draw a box behind your title or just add another graphic element, you can do that. And you can, of course, select the color for it. So a lot of options here under titles. Now, once you're done with your title, all you got to do to close the workspace is either click on the adjust button here in the upper right corner or simply just click on your timeline. And there is our title. Now, once our title has been added to our movie, we can add effects to it just as we could any other clip. And of course, we can right click on it and even add fade ins and fade outs to it. So now our title will fade in like this and fade out at the end. Let's switch over to the expert workspace. I want to show you something. When I look for my title, it is not directly above my uh, video clip, you might notice. It's up there. Keep looking. It's way up on video track three. So if you add a title in the quick view, when you go over to expert view, know your title is going to be way up there. I'm going to drag it down here to a little closer to my, uh, my video. That just makes it simpler for me here in expert view. A nice selection of titles, a great library of titles available under a, a number of templates. In part eight, coming up next, our basic training tutorial series comes to its big climax as we show you how to take your finished movie and output it and share it with the world.